The Shell Cracker Plant begins hiring. A new coffee shop looks to bring a Youngstown neighborhood together. And the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition receives funding for its outreach efforts. This is The Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. With plans to begin operations in 2022, the Shell Cracker Plant in Manaka, Pennsylvania has begun hiring. Applicants filed into the Ohio Means Jobs offices in Lisbon to apply for positions as rail administrators, CDL drivers, loaders, lab technicians, and rail mechanics. Jason Martin is with Petroleum Service Corp., a Shell subcontractor looking to staff between 150 and 180 employees. We're looking for all of our material handling positions, so that would include uh, rail switching, uh, liquid loading and unloading, um, any type of solids loading, um, and then laboratory uh, work as well. Dakota Schreffler was hired as a rail mechanic on the spot. When I worked on the rail before, the problem was the company that I worked for was really small, wasn't any benefits or anything. So I needed to find somewhere where it's concrete, I have benefits, 401k, all those things, which they offer all of those here. When fully staffed, the Shell Cracker is expected to employ 600 full-time workers. You can read more in the story on our website. A nonprofit in Youngstown is looking to bring the community together over a warm cup of joe. Glenwood Grounds, a new coffee shop at 2906 Glenwood Avenue, will host its grand opening this Saturday. The shop is run by husband and wife Gary and Cindy Kurth and their nonprofit Hope for Renewal. Hope for Renewal seeks to build community, hosting weekly picnics during the summer to bring the neighborhood together. Glenwood Grounds serves Brant Street Coffee with plans to expand the menu to include baked goods such as bagels and muffins. And the Mahoning Valley Manufacturers Coalition is among 13 recipients for the next round of Ohio's Industry Sector Partnership Awards to the tune of $250,000. MVMC will receive the funds over 18 months starting from last October. Project manager Allison Engstrom says the coalition will use the round of funds for outreach to populations that are underrepresented in manufacturing. She says the coalition's three-pronged strategy includes said outreach, increased focus among manufacturers about diversity, and assisting companies with their diversity, equity, and inclusion goals. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. We'll be back on Monday with more local business news. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. Seven Seventeen Credit Union: It's knowing you were treated right every time.